Hey everyone, we're the Bearded Bastards with Bill the Man. This is our 5th edition D&D campaign, The Ancient War Reborn, continuing session 26. I'm your DM, JVD. Hey guys, I'm Evan the Great from the Villain of the Man. I'm playing the Elven Bard Paladin Luda Silverstring. And we finally got to Waterdeep, and there's a lot of under. What do they call that? Rogues chant going on? Thieves can't. Thieves can't. Rogues chant. We're going to learn it. Well, I know it. <laughs> hey, it's a very wonder with the villains of the man. I'm playing Vesper Nord, the Moon Elf Road, and things are going to get a little seedy. I'm Smiley, playing Ulda Dwight Hammer. I'm still making shit. And I'm West playing Real Live, or still keeping it short. And giving in the recap. Recap, we made it to, uh, ever... Why did I have to close my book? Well, don't forget to start with it. Nobody has taken yeah, this shit. Yeah, made it to Everland, <laughs> met up with Crowen, did a bunch of trading. I finally got my plate mail. Uh, we liquidated the ship, right? Yep. And so we have that. A bunch of talking with Crowen, ended up uh, taking a teleportation circle to Waterdeep. So, you feel the pool tug on your body as he throws this dust, this diamond dust on you, Crowen does, and your body lurches. It's like every part of you, just like, it's like hitting a curve on a roller coaster real fast. Your body lurches and your head spins. Next thing you know, you're opening your eyes and you're all on your hands and knees in another teleportation circle in a small room lit up dimly. And Lee Olsen stands in front of you. The first thing he does, he reaches in to help Luda up. I'm going to throw up and stand up. Um, I reach up and I grab it. Everybody <laughs> pull me a constitution save. You might not have no choice but to throw up. I'm just going to throw up. <laughs> it's all good. All right, 25. Rolling? Seven. 25. Oh, it's a seven. Or it's a save. Uh, oh, I didn't make count that. I got 28. Do we add your thing to it? Yeah. I think it's like same it's the same. Eleven. It's, it's not free. It's not free. Anything like that. You can't use that. What do you got? Twenty-three. What do you got? Seven. You Seven. Got? <laughs> that, that's fair. I got eight. Eight. Everybody yeah, throws up. <laughs> but because you need a fifteen, I think Or John let beat that. Or thought it was fun as shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> He wants to do it again. Villa and Von Ben, they make theirs. Everybody else throws up. And uh, well, Leosin rushes up and tries to help you up, Luda. He said, he said, oh my God, you guys finally made it. And he's trying to help her up. Boy, long time, that fella. Uh, he says, it's great to see you, Ward. You can I, tell he's very excited that you guys are here. I we not things to tell you. He says, there's much to talk about, I'm sure. We've journeyed with a frost giant, dined with a fire giant, all of my lotus. <laughs> I stand up and I present the envoy of Duke Zalto. So, um, he says, Cronin's already warned me about him. Um, he says, I've already set up a meeting. He said, tomorrow at noon, you're to meet with all of the Lord's Alliance. Um, there are more allies here, and some you'll be surprised to see. Have they come to their senses? He says, to a degree, it's not any worse, but I think tomorrow you guys will pull up by everything with your tail. I say, uh, I got many things to talk to you about, but I'm glad that I'm back. He said, I'm, I'm glad that you're back, and he smiles. I say, I never thought I'd meet other Harpers, but I did. Yeah, you well, I mean, like, you, you missed so that many. Far away. Away. You just never knew. Yeah. <laughs> um, here you're in a dark room. Um, it's lit up. You can tell where the sonnets are. There's no sonnets. There's just small balls of fire that light this room. And there's a staircase that leads up. Um, he says, uh, he introduces himself to your freed slaves, to the envoy. They introduce themselves and he says, uh, he says, no one knows you're here but me and Raven Tree. And, uh, did us to all speak to, to everyone? Hmm? Us to all. Um, yes. <coughs> and it's still not everybody believes him. 
Everybody's so divided. Everybody's worried about themselves. And I'm really thinking what you guys have seen, even though I've told them through your own eyes, through your own words, I think will really solidify everything. He says, you know, I, think, I really feel this whole, this whole war will, like, literally rest on tomorrow. It's like I cannot express that enough. If it's any consolation, we got back for that. We got back at the Hill Johns for that guy's birthday party they smashed. <laughs> he he kind of laughs and he's like, "I'm pretty sure that old man will be delighted." <laughs> we figured our buddy King into in with the pigs. <laughs> he says, uh, "Like I've already set up some rooms for you guys. Um, no one knows you're here. It's like so, please try to be discreet." He said, "For all I know, after Wild Water." The Zents may be looking for you, and I'm pretty sure the Cult of the Dragon are here looking for you. No, as well. they also know. Uh, Comments not he be says, made of This is not a time for that, Vesper. You have to put your differences aside. No, they also. I'm ready for a fight. <laughs> Vesper, you'll keep on to your fight. I promise you. Remember, when this is over, we get to the Baldur's Gate. No, but I'll see, where was it? Did they, what does that mean? No. <laughs> well, that's for that one place. Score Noble. Score Noble. Yeah, yeah. They told her Scornoble. she her mother was and you guys passed. Yeah, that's Score Noble. But they're not. Is that's where they're at? They're here too. They're everywhere. Doesn't matter where I start. After the cult. Or in between. Doesn't matter. You gave your word. I'll help you. My friend Vesper. It's real tense in here right now. <laughs> Vesper, we need we need the old Vesper. We don't need the rec reckless. Well, Yosin puts his hand on your shoulder, Vesper, and he's like, "I promise you, I'd help you get your mother back, and I plan on fulfilling that. You have to trust me. But there is something bigger going on." I believe you. She's already dead. So what's the matter now? He said, "The revenge." Yes. Which I. Doled out a little bit at that water. And he said, remember how that felt? Good. He said, I promise the next time will be better. I need some sleep. He's like, I will be gladly to take you to your room. Point down you five five and some of us might need some sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry everyone you guys have lost your lunch. Um... Now, he's asking, he's asked you guys, you know, if you're going to be around, be discreet. Don't be out in the open, you know. Um, Invisible. I mean, <laughs> that's what you want to do. Yeah, I can catch that too. Do it to me, do it to me. <laughs> do it to you now. He's on the one I got greater invisibility. <laughs> but how are you going to go somewhere and buy something when you're invisible? I'm not going nowhere and buying that. I'm just going to the room because plate mail. He Wait, says, uh, is he says, or, he says, Roland, he's like, um, me and your parents have a private dinner for you. They'll be very ecstatic to see you. He no. said, "He said I will make sure that you get there and no one sees you." No, Leoson, Carl was not exactly in their language. What does discreet mean? Um, keep a low profile. Don't let people Is know that. Is that a that joke, that... Cosmo Dwarf? <laughs> he kind of laughs. He says, "Don't be shooting off your cannon." I'm just giving you a shit, man. <laughs> so, oh, he's, he's like, "It's really glad. I'm really happy to see you." I'll just ask him if uh, there are any go thieves guild what? that What's are involved snuts? with the Zentarum. I, I cannot to. promise you that. I didn't know if he knew any or not. He, he says I have connections. He's like, but I cannot tell you if they are connected to the Zentarum at all. He says most of my time has been dedicated to trying to hold this alliance together. He said, and he said, this whole thing that I thought was small months ago has turned into something big. This is me. Are there any Harpers that wouldn't know? He says, I will do my best to find out anything you need. Thank you. He said, now um, he's going to take her to her room. Uh, you've got a dinner with your parents. Warden? I hope to find a forge. <laughs> um... Just somewhere where I can work and stay quiet at. He says, if I had something private, he's like, I would try to give it to you. He's like, but there are enemies about, and I need to protect you guys. You have to understand that. 
Luda, what are you doing? Hmm. I want to get killed. I'm going to stay with Vesper. All right. So, um... Don't kill me. says, uh... Please, don't freak out with what you're about to see. No. Is Follow me. Is going to show it to me? <laughs> yeah, yeah it, 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 it doesn't look like what you think it does. He has a vagina. He has a vagina. Do you have a penis? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a vagina that has a penis coming out of it. Oh, man. It's yeah. uh, freaky. Yeah, it's kind of freaky. <laughs> It's like, and, and it keeps growing. Wait, can very, you get pregnant yeah. or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> he, he gets pregnant in the butt. Oh, <laughs> Lord. But uh, anyway, so he takes you guys up the stairs and he, uh, he yells a word out. He says, Nerna. And the brick above you slides over. And when you look, or we know what this is, it's a shield guardian. And it's sliding a sarcophagus lid over to the side, and it's looking down on you. I don't want. And uh, he tells you, "This protects this place. If you ever need to use a teleportation circle, this is the password. If you do not say this word when you come in here, this thing will attack you, regardless. If you're a member of the Order of the Goblet, if you're a Harper agent." If you belong to the Lord's Alliance, said this is Harper territory. Myrna, you said? Yeah. M Y R N A. Myrna. He tells you we're in Waterdeep's Wald Cemetery. Uh, Secretive. So, uh, this is Snut. Introduce him, my little goblin guy. Um, and he gladly shake, goes to shake Snurt's hand. Yeah. And he Snurt's got pretty, pretty happy smart, about right? it. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been Snurt's quite civilized. Yeah, he's introduced himself. He introduced him to everybody he didn't know. Um, is there like a baby? He's going no, to I'm saying like that. I've been Snurt's quite that. civilized at this point from uh, yeah. tutoring and everything. Um, he tells you, Roland, he's like, I can either take you to your room, he's like, or I can take you to your parents. Uh, it's like, I mean, they're waiting to see you. You, know, you can sit down, have conversation, have dinner, you know, relax for once. See some familiar faces. You've grown a lot. Had a birthday and they missed out on. So um, he goes... He pours this lever, and one of the sarcophagi opens up, and he says, this tunnel will take you to where you need to go. And he pulls a torch off the wall, and he hands it to you. He says, the torch won't go out on you, I promise. To your rooms. I know it's not really going to have any effect, but I'm going to hold this torch out, and I'm going to reach in and grab this room. Can I extinguish the flame? You can try. Yeah. You will it? Goes out. Can I relight it? Well, it's back up. All right, cool. <laughs> Just one Roland's use. like, where did you get that? Uh, I mean, Leos and you are rolling. It's like, where did you get that? Same place I got this. I'm sure I'll learn tomorrow. And he's kind of just shaking his Same head. Same place we got those, and I pointed the slave. Touche. 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 Give yourself an inspiration point for being funny on the spot. That was great. Oh, man. That was, that was great. Later. So um, he'll say, um, You guys will follow me. Like, I'll take you to uh, your rooms. And he, in his pocket, he holds out four rings in his hand. I, I grab them off, no kidding. You're already gone. Yeah. And uh, he puts one on, and he closes his eyes, <laughs> and he takes the shape of a dwarf. Pop identifier on some lips. I put mine on. It, it, it's polymorph. Polymorph? Mm -hmm. He said, this will let you polymorph for an hour, once a day. Oh, he said, okay. don't get too happy, I need these back. <laughs> no. He's like, this is the only way I can get people through town. I've grown in my magic. I did not leave this ring. Then I can have those. I mean, I can wear it, but in this case, 
I said to you. He gave it to him. It's a gift. It's not a gift. Mine now. He said he gave him back. Man, these guys are getting greedy. It was an engagement ring. Yeah, it was an engagement ring. I'm telling you. So he takes you guys to your rooms, and he's like, you know, um, I'll call upon you guys for dinner later in the evening once the sun sets. So, uh, unless you plan on doing anything crazy like sneaking out, you stay. I want to my time. So I, I don't play. trust you. And that's <laughs> what I'm getting at. Unless called on, I want to do all my time between like working on live and working on and recording the scrolls in my spell book. Okay. Luda? I'm actually going to be, go oh, where Vesper's room at, I'm going to ask her if she, um, uh, do you need some company? That's what I was afraid of. I'll be like, yeah, you need somebody to share this bottle of wine with. Oh, shit. I offered you. I thought you drank all that. Mm -hmm. No, I bought, he bought more. I bought, I bought more. This I bought that now. Okay, so I don't trust you, and I know you're going to try to leave this room. <laughs> <laughs> now who's saying this, Leo or the DM? No, I'm talking to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you're going to leave this room. Maybe. Because you want to go buy some poisonous kid and stuff. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Leo has taken the rings from you, by the way. No, oh, he took them? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is just to get you freaked out. Oh, man. Oh. You, you think I'm going to let you all have something <laughs> that crazy running around? Yeah. Yeah. It's not like I'm going to turn into a team Rex. So, but, uh... <laughs> I was planning to. So, <laughs> you're drink this wine, get a little and try to leave, right? I don't know. Wow. Well, I, I'm not I, I need to know. Because I have, I have planned on this situation because I don't trust you. I know it with your current state of mind. And then, especially with all the information you got a while ago, I am planning for this if you do leave. I'm just letting you know. Okay. Um, we, I guess I'll teach you magic to help you. Yes, I'll talk to, to Luda. Let's go hunt some zins. Just be like, I really need to get some poison. Why do you need poison? So I can be more stealthy. <laughs> it makes no sense. See, if I see a zin <coughs> at a bar, just so they get my crossbow out or my sword out, see, I could walk over, drop some poison in their drink. This is a two-way. This is a two-way sword. He's ho he's ho. You mean a double-edged sword? Yeah, a double-edged sword. A two-way sword. Oh man, double-edged sword. Sword goes north. Sword, sword goes south. <laughs> Crowlin and Leelson basically told me that she shouldn't go in guns a blazing. Take a different approach. This is a different approach. <laughs> but this also hurts my lawfulness. I have a paladin. It's still lawful. Hey, you did. You did. You did offer to help her. Yeah. I mean, this is a step in the right direction, but it's also it's walking a fine line. <laughs> then blue line. I say you may get your poison only if I accompany you. Deal. How much of this wine do you drink? Probably like a cup or two. Okay. So when are you gonna leave? Um, probably like about four hours. So I have a quick meditation. So, I got so, a little exhaustion in here. so everybody's gonna get to do something they enjoy. Mm -hmm. Crafting, I know what he's crafting. Nice dinner with his parents. We're gonna go poison these in. <laughs> <laughs> so We're not gonna poison these. I, I, I knew, I knew when I got back, and I said something about loud water. I'm like, he's gonna want to chase some zins out, so I'm prepared. <laughs> so uh, four hours pass. Um, it's actually about evening because it was noon. I think everything at yeah, while well, it was noon, so yeah, it is evening. So uh, sun started to go down. You get a little sneaky, sneaky. Visibility. I'm gonna look at you. Be like, ready? I'm going. And I say yes. I'm invisible. At a random point in time, I just turned to use this guy's self without getting supplies to come back. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, that was a joke. Because that's the problem that they're about to have to face if you leave. Because this is a safe house. People watch safe houses. 
Yeah. I told you, I was very prepared for this. <laughs> Just put a wall of force over the walls, over the window. Yeah, sure, why not? I'll link out too. Okay, so you turn invisible, so I ain't gonna worry about looking for you. Um, where? What type of that part of town are you looking to go into? Um, the part of town that looks like it has poison gas. <laughs> so you're going to the shadiest part of our D D five. Well, hey, how do you two feel about continuing on this game by yourselves? <laughs> hey. I'm down. I mean, because I mean, this entire time you guys were against a lot of stuff these two wanted to do, right? <laughs> but I don't want to get all their shit. <laughs> I don't want to trust the job. Honestly, I think it'll go a lot more smoothly. Thanks. It might go a lot, <laughs> might go a lot faster too. Yeah, that's two people we ain't got to worry about. Right? Well, we make this game a lot of fun, <laughs> and I don't. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It'll, it'll, just, it'll just become a buddy cop move with Rowan and Ord. <laughs> Let's be cops. So, um, you go through uh, Black Market, you're playing three times value for a poison kit. I mean, I don't know if you're trying to work a little magic on with this, or you're just trying to thief one. What are you trying to do? I could polymorph you into something. Polymorph you into a poisoner's kit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I we'll poison you with myself. The, Explosion from the inside. Or something. <laughs> I'll knock the invisibility off and have you polymorph me. Into what? Um, a human. How do you not disguise self? Human male, human female. Human female. All right. I stay invisible and stay. Watch my six. Kind of watch I the back. All right. All right. And. Let me some percentiles. Oh, yeah. You just see how good I'm probably more. Mm -hmm. No, you can roll me percentiles too. Mm -hmm. That's a 20. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we die. Oh, fuck. That's a hundred. A hundred. <laughs> yes. That's not good. <laughs> So That's I don't know so what good. I was rolling mine for, but I didn't get it. I'm buying fifty poisoners' kits. You sit there and buy. way around. Yes. <laughs> he got spotted. Definitely, you didn't. Uh, you didn't. <laughs> okay, so you're going in town. Uh, say male or female? Male. Male. Okay. I said um, female. Oh, female. Female. Right. Okay, so what are you doing? I'm invisible. Just watching his back. Okay. Um, are you going to pay full price for this thing? You're going to try to steal it? What are you trying to do? Full okay, because you 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 found this pretty shady place. Like, I got no name for anything, but I mean, there's some very shady dealings going on in here. When you it's the type of place where you walk in that people are watching you. You going with him? Yeah, I'm still visible, but I will ten probably ten feet away from him at all times. Okay, so ten foot away. All right, Vesper, you walk into through the door. And you can feel the polymorph spill wave, wave off of you, and you see your hands change back to your own. You see this as she walks. In. I stop, and I send a message to Gregory. I said, "Dad, we're off. Get out of here." <laughs> she says, "We're off. You get out of here." No, I'm not getting out of here. You walk in. Damn it! And uh, <laughs> the clerk lasts. I want to play it cool. Be like, okay. Didn't want to be seeing him in here. You understand. The guy, the clerk nods his head and he laughs. Now be like, uh, he said, "You never know who you can trust." Exactly. Um, and in this type of business, some things aren't what they seem. Now the question is, Luda, the door shut and you're outside and invisible. What are you doing? <laughs> looking through the window. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to try to look through the window. I guess. If I, cool. if I can, I'm just going to wait there by the door. <coughs> Let me percentiles. Let's see if there's some windows in this place. 51 or higher says there's windows. 67. Hey, there's some windows. You can look. Okay. They just see like a breath appear on the glass. And just <laughs> <laughs> a little. Um, <laughs> this place is wall to wall, just full of stuff, Vesper. When you walked in, the clerk's right here on your left. Um, small lawn, you see people, you know, they've got cloaks up because they don't want people to see their yeah, faces and whatnot. Um, 
You both can roll me perceptions. Um, I'm gonna say you have disadvantage because there's walls. There's like all showing everywhere. Okay. I have disadvantage, all right. No, you're fine. I want that twenty. That's good. Uh, twenty. Hey, that's even better. Yeah. So you're kind of walking around looking at everything and you're trying to keep an eye on her. And Vesper, you see a familiar face. You go, oh. Luda, you see a familiar face. Vesper, you see three. Are they, are they men that are wise? They are men that are wise. One of these guys, you recognize Luda? They got the snot beat out of him in Baldur's Gate one time. <laughs> in a brothel. Oh, God. And that's where you see them. And they're in there shopping around. I'm just going to walk up to the clerk. Oh. Mm -hmm. Just be like, need to poison your skin. Um, he'll tell you, well, you know, left, third row, top shelf. You'll find him there. I don't know if it's done. I, I don't know if you've seen these guys in there, but I'm messing you like, Men in there, dangerous. We like Luda. Okay, no. <laughs> he says this worked out in my favor. You sh he wrote 100%. Stranger uh, danger. I had to give him all three. He wrote 100%. Yeah. So I'm going to go up there and uh, no, I walk over there and grab one. Okay. Take it back to the counter. So whatever in the book, it's three times the price. 150. I'll give him 200. Um, told you thank you. Uh, he's very pleased with that. Be like, you have a good email. It says, you too. Because obviously he could tell you're up to something. And then I'll head out. He tells you, your friend, you should probably learn to stay further back from my building as you walk out. <laughs> oh, <agree>. oh, man. <laughs> This is like, this is like the, this one was kicked off, she was just like, this is the whole damn time, just like, uh, <laughs> She's doing this, she doesn't realize she's fogging the window. <laughs> <laughs> she's fogging up, and they're like, watch out for your back. And then, uh, I guess we'll go to where alleyway, pop invisibility, and go back. Go back where? To the safe house. Okay. You know these guys Can I get a perception check, see if, uh, if we're being tailed? You want to go look? Yeah, sure. Uh, 13. Yep. No, I thought your man was 10. Yeah, that's right, 18, my bad. You don't see anything. Okay. Hold on, when we get to the shield guard here. You're attacking people. You don't see anybody telling you. You don't see anybody telling you? Mm -mm. Did we find a, like a secluded alleyway where we can still see the shot? If you want to, sure. You don't see that you're being tailed, but this this means you're circling back. Once I pop the invisibility, like somewhere like in some alleyway, something mm -hmm. kind of secluded. Um, yeah. Circle back? Circle back. Just not going up to the shop, but just staying somewhere we can kind of see it. All right. I want to watch when these guys leave. Uh... You're here for about 15 minutes, and you see one of them come back. And about a couple minutes later, all three of them come out. Okay, which way are they headed? The opposite way the dude came. You can tell, um, you, you can't hear them, but they're talking amongst themselves. Like there's a lot of fast hand movement between them. Okay. Then I'll whisper to Luda and be like, we should go back. To the shop? No. <laughs> to the safe house. Alright. Jesus, Luda, you're an idiot. Just to the shop? So we'll go back to the safe house. You're not going to follow him? No. Not right now. Not right now? I figured they spotted me. Cause they all the fast hand gestures and everything. And they came. One, one guy came back. No, no, no. It's like when you talk with your hands. That's what you're seeing. It's not their outside language or anything. Oh, I thought they looked like frantic. Like they were. Yeah, but you couldn't hear what they were saying. Okay. <laughs> I figured them being frantic, they might have spotted me. Oh. So I just tell Luda we'll head back to the safe house. All right. So head back to the safe house, guys. Mm -hmm. 
I'm so proud of you. <laughs> me, me too. Well, the shopkeep, obviously. I don't want to fucking disrupt. Yeah, it's probably the probably is in Tarum's shop. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, here's the thing. Heaven rode for his Zentarum shop. Heaven rode low, it wasn't. So I'm like, well, let's see if they're here. Someone rolled really high. So I'm thinking, well, let's see, 25% for one, 50% for two, 100% for all three of them. But see, the way I put it was the shopkeep, yeah, I'm paying three times the price, but I went ahead and threw in an extra 50 gold pieces. So that way, maybe later I can come back to the shop and maybe the shopkeep has a little bit of information I can get. <laughs> Mm, that's okay. How, that's how them sneaky puppers work. So does this mean you're not going back to the shop, the safe house? No, we're going back to the safe house. Okay. I'm talking about a later time. At a later time. Hopefully, this guy, you know. Well, how long is a later time? Maybe tomorrow. Mm, you have a big day tomorrow. Or, you know, <laughs> you know how these days go. Yeah. We're going to be like. But, we're going to be in Sometime. Concord tomorrow, okay? We're never going to make it to the meeting tomorrow. There's going to be a dragon that's happening tonight. <laughs> yeah. We're going to uh, We're saying don't red dragon, you know. <laughs> you uh, guys take off, and uh, you're coming out of this alleyway, and as soon as you do, two of them on one side of the alley, one on the other, and they say, where are you going, Vesper? And there they are. All three of them. So when I pop off invisibility and pull out uh, sword of a thousand cuts, whoa. I say, what, and what? Off says, whoa. Where did they pop out at? They're waiting for you when you come out of the alley. They're like standing up against the walls. The like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like they start backing off. I'm like, what do you want? Peace. Peace. Well, and he kind of laughs. He says, uh, Peace. Curious what you're doing. We're old friends, right? Hey, you know, you made some money for us. We took care of you, right? Yeah. And then uh, at Horan and uh, Ragbog, the dwarves are laughing. Yeah, you know, we're friends, long friends. We haven't seen you forever. Well, that one we seen like nine months ago. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that was a, that was a long time ago. So, what do you want? Peace, peace. You don't believe us? Yes, like that shit. <laughs> now, let me inside. Inside. I'm not good at this. Oh, oh, fuck. Seventeen. <laughs> the problem is though, he's probably just double pressed. Probably really good. You believe him? You believe them. I just tell you they want peace. Okay, so if you want peace, why are you talking to me? Um, because there's different types of peace in the world. Isn't that what the Lord's Alliance is doing? Right? What do you know of the Lord's Alliance? What do we not know? Might be the question. The question is, what do we know that you need to know? What are you playing in? I'm not playing nothing. You know, the enemy of the enemy is my friend. Okay. He said, I mean, maybe in Loudwater you might have figured that out. You know, if you wouldn't have killed three of us. Well, I'm sure he you said, but hey, yeah. hey, in this type of work, it happens. We understand. <laughs> I mean, we did see you buy some poison. Yeah. I guess that was for us. <laughs> Not you guys in particular, but somebody. Oh, you're a liar. Come on now. <laughs> he, said, he, said, he said, don't you remember roughing me up? We all know that we would all kill each other given a chance. He said, uh, yeah, I don't think you'd kill us. We'd probably get to you before you got to us. He said, do you think you were going to get away now? Backstab. They don't know I'm here. Did you start invisible? I'm yeah, invisible. Do they seem worried? <laughs> I was invisible the whole time. But do they seem worried? No. Okay. Probably do not know I'm here. <laughs> so they go to jump on Vesper and just fireball. We just want to talk. <laughs> okay, talk. I we don't want to talk. She wants to talk. I've got nothing to say to her. I think you have a lot to say to her. Like what? Fuck you. That Hold up. Fine. And you know this to be your mother's ring when they toss it to you. 
She wants to talk. She wants to talk. And he points to the ring. She wants to talk. Both of them. Enemy to enemy is my friend. Can I roll an insight? Sure. I'm invisible, but... Boy, oh. man, this, just that quiet is awesome here. Uh, that would be a nine. Well, I'm sure this meeting can be in a public place. If it's, mm. not. it's only 12. Oh, no, we, we're not trying to cause you any harm at all. We'll meet you wherever we, wherever you want. He said, but let me tell you, that safe house, not it's not too safe. safe. I knew that. He said, because if we know, who yeah. else knows? At this point, war is just directing Lee versus and Zoom on up again. Oh, you're like in a, <laughs> yeah, you're in a good mood. Roland's in a good mood. He talked to his parents, telling him how, how much he's grown. He's talking about still kill stealing the freaking dragon. Yeah, and, you know. Oh, I was talking about that song. It's under all about my name. So. That, yeah. so. <laughs> okay, so when do you want to meet? Mm -hmm. Before tomorrow, before noon. He said, um, about a late night snack. Sound good? What time? Midnight. Where? Mm, we know the guy. He'll let us in. He's open all hours. Here? The shop? Sure. He just totally bring good He said, with you, you got every reason to believe us? You know that ring? That's your wedding ring. It's your mom's. Didn't your dad give that to her? I mean, hey, he did buy that with the money she gave him. But as you understand, I'd have to bring some of my boys. Fair enough. Just like I'm sure you'll have yours. Oh, oh. Look at the boys. Hey, <laughs> you know how we roll. Mm -hmm. I'm not scared. Good. So, yeah. So, yeah, we'll be here at midnight. Midnight? He said, uh, bring in all three of them. No, four. Who's four? Snurt. <laughs> if you had to figure that out, we'll just... So he said, he said, <laughs> character. he said, he said, um, <laughs> <Marseille. laughs> he said, just you know, uh, that fourth guy, make sure it's that Leosin guy. And they start walking back the alley. Nerds Think about it. Cheeks. I just yeah, visible a when he it. says Leosin. So he's like, you can play me for a fool. That's when I just punched Luda in the arm. They already knew something. <laughs> <laughs> I look, I look at Vesper and I say they're dead. Well, you're dead. <laughs> From way down the alley here, we'll see. <laughs> well, they say when I he said, or you're dead. as a hard one, you got a lot to learn. Damn, <laughs> they just called you out, son. Damn. I, I don't remember you ever making a cell phone. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you as we're walking back, be like uh, message or. First off, we gotta hide. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't hiding nothing. I'm walking right back. Uh, they already know. I know, but everybody else is on. Who? What else would it matter? People watching the safe house to make sure. Yeah. Leave. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll be like, you're not doing your job, are you? <laughs> well, I'm rolling my stealth. Best this, uh, <laughs> Ooh, I only rolled four, so fifteen. So I'm just going to stealthily follow and, to, and send him an old message. Okay, so since they know about the Lord's Alliance, does that mean they have connections to the Lord's Alliance? Mm. There could be someone on the Lord's Alliance that is as important. You could. I guess you'll get your chance to ask questions and meet up with them. All right. So, make sure you're going to you send us in this message. Yeah. What's the message? Just send it to order and say, uh, we got a meeting at midnight. Bring your rope stick. <laughs> Bring your rope stick. Exactly. Anything else? Hey, and no one knows where Roland's at, but one guy. And then, uh. <coughs> Ooh, I'm dead. It's just so to let y'all know. I'm probably dead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. Point and thing. I'll tell you, too, uh. You're gonna have to get a hold of the else. What? Yeah, so it's best we just stroll in there, not God invisible. Damn it. You, you, know, you heard them. the whole conversation. We got to tell him anyway. <laughs> and they know of the safe house and everything. He's going to piss. He's going to take my ring back. There he <laughs> <is>. <laughs> <laughs> he already took the ring back. 
But just when we get back to the safe house, I'll, I'll message him and tell him we. I don't we, think we'll have to message him. We fucked up. Luda's just like daddy. <laughs> All right. So once we get, how long does it take to get back to the safe house? About an hour. Kind of check for a tail. Sure. No. Yes, there's a tail. <laughs> Because the colt could still be. He waves at you. <laughs> well, that's a uh, eighteen. You don't see a tail. Okay. So the only error is like, hey, we have a meeting at midnight. You see feet, you see hands, no, like, but no tail. Put a thing out on the fucking. What the hell's going on? So when we get to the safe house, what the hell are we doing? Watch out <laughs> anywhere or anything. Say what? Do we see anybody outside the safe house? Uh, we're only perception. Yes. Damn. That's uh, 8 plus 19. 27. Huh? 27. Yeah, but it sounds bigger when I say 8 plus 19. 27 is pretty damn good. 27 is pretty good. I got a 23 on my hide. You see some You see some people hiding around, watching. I'm going to be like, how you doing? We need to some. So you're just going to like yell at somebody or just walk up to them? No, I'm just going to say it as I'm strolling toward the door. We need to some. And you just walk in? Yeah. All right. Very best for really. My head's, held down. My head's held down. I'm like, damn it. Was it, was it about 30 minutes? Uh, it'll take them to get Ord so there. Yeah. Roland uh, had a pretty good conversation with parents. Really enjoyed yourself? Uh, probably not. Why? Because I would say that the entire time going through this uh, secret tunnel to the meeting, to the uh -huh. dinner itself, Roland was prob probably ashamed because of giving up all the information that he did under the dominate person spell. Your parents, they don't worry about it. Sometimes you can't be stronger than magic. Also, I would present Thea with, I know I wrote it down. Has it on. So they, they took your the sword, and now you gave her their sword. Uh, she doesn't like the sword. She can feel the evil within it, but it's best that it's in their hands. But uh, you're probably about three hours into this meeting, and someone knocks on the door. They come in and tell you you're needed. Within about 30 minutes, you're all gathered up with Leos in, in Vesper's room. Oh. It's her fault. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hell wait you do this. Uh, no, I, I, I don't do that. <laughs> so, uh, do someone Vesper. tell me what the bloody hell is. Never could tell So, apparently. <laughs> Thank you. I got like some weird looking shavings up on my beard and everything. The Zent want to have a meeting, apparently. My actions in low water are known. I and Temple got away. Apparently, they don't want any more attacks on their people like that. I suppose the cult. So they gave them by their friend Ooh. and said that they want to have a meeting tonight, and that she is supposedly will be there. Um, well, as, as, as Vesper is holding this ring out, notice when you're looking at it, there's small runes carved around the top that holds that blue sapphire in. Identify. <laughs> well, it's a ring of electricity immunity. You're immune to electrical damage. Nice. And no fire resistance. There's nothing unknown to that. <laughs> well, they needed to prove that my mom was alive. Oh, yeah. But uh, that's all I need. Your mom was a man. Sure. And, uh, See, here's the thing. Was your mom in a vision? Hey, so you're telling everybody what's going on, Vesper. The rest of you three are on the insights. Vesper, go ahead and roll me. You're telling the story. Seven. <laughs> I'm going to pop an inspiration. It's ten. Ten, seven. Sixteen. I got like... Six or so. Okay. Go ahead. Six or seven. Do the news or? And I'll be like, Leo, and they want to see you. They want me to bring you with us. And apparently they have ties to the Lord's Alliance. Said how? They know about it. He they said. Knew, they knew everything. He says that every, he said there's a, 
we have a spell that everybody walks underneath. There's no way they they have ties to the Lord of the Lights. There's none. Well, they sure seem. Like it's all it's, it's, it's all a zone of truth. They sure seem to know a lot. Next question. He says, he says uh, <laughs> you can, you they're, they're, they're not a secret. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a secret group. Exactly. I mean, somebody in that group, maybe outside of that group, they have a way to make them tell them something because they know a lot of stuff. That's a possibility. Um, Somehow they have ties into it. I don't know if it takes uh, it. He's like, spread. so we need to meet them at midnight? Yeah, at the shop. Um, whatever the name of the shop was. The Black Bile. That's what I like that one. Black Bile, is that what you said? Yeah. It's the Black Bile. Nice. That's fresh. <laughs> I don't think you have to do it. You go ahead and take that. I can't wait to try to use my inspiration. He's like, yeah, you go ahead and take that. Take that. Get you. Three. Leosin looks very uneasy. That is for sure. And he's like, I have to say, pass. He's like, well, the Zen are no different from us. He's like, he's like, I just. How did they know you guys were here? You didn't tell him. You guys left. Me and Luda went to the black bottle. <laughs> it says, uh, why does that not surprise me? To be fair, we're talking about Luda. I'm surprised that she stayed in our I need to get some supplies. I was just trying to check the stuff out. He said, I told you anything you needed, just ask, and I would have got it. You would have got me a poisoner's kid. If I knew your intentions, Yes. Well, then I should have asked you. Said, well, maybe this will work out for the better. Is there like He's a like, water I don't like this. Nearby? He's like, huh? Is there like a water basin nearby? Where you're at? Yeah, like, I assume well, yeah, it's like a water basin. Yeah, there's water basins around. You got a lot. Take something, drop drop it in the water, watch the ripples. Every action you make causes waves. Yeah. And apparently, the lead water makes some big waves. That's why it's loud water. That's kid and I'll tell about the buddy man. So maybe they don't want enemies they scheme my mother better. Want me to walk away? He said, Look, honestly, if you want to do this, I'm with you. And he points at the ring. He said, I promised you. He's like, Maybe she's alive. Maybe that's what this Maybe means. she is alive. Maybe she's not. Maybe. He said but they wanted to kill me, they could have killed me in the end. That's true, but there's only one way to find out. He's like, I promised you I would help you get her back, and you don't think she's alive. Maybe you're wrong. He said there's only there's only one way to find out. And he's like, you're right. If they wanted to kill us, you, if they knew about this place, they'd already done it. Yeah. He said, so maybe, well, so maybe, maybe they do want to talk. They seem pretty sincere. He says, so... What do you want to do? This is all on you. I can't do it alone. Mm-hmm. Say, I'm with you. I promise you. You got me. I made a vow. Leo, so can you make a note somewhere in the book for a future thing? Sure. We need someone that's able to resurrect the dead. He said, um, I can try to manage that. He said, that's... It's not an easy thing to do. No, I don't, I'm fully aware. Uh, said, but uh, yes. He's like, I will try my best. Said, I will um, get on that as soon as possible. Yeah. I'm surprised he hasn't said anything about a roostier. I don't think we told I'm pretty, him. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys did. Pretty sure she, yeah. Evan did. Because once you got to Parnass, you guys were pretty much sending messages yeah. Yeah. constantly. We have two people that cast messages. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, wondering about four times a day. Um, this shop. I still I'm wondering about this shop we're going to. It made my magic wear off. It says, I've got no magic to cast. I think it's best to go in with none. So don't be casting spells on yourself. Show them, hey, you're Let's here to talk. In. We're here to talk. Don't do anything rash. Go in honest. Then we. What the hell? What the hell? We look at me. He said. I've heard about your exploits on the caravan, or he said that. Find a way to silence it. <laughs> he points to your bag of holes. That would be great. That would. That'd be great to make a silence report. He says uh, that draws more attention than what Vesper did in Waterdeep. 
uh, loud water. So he said, but Vesper, if this is what you want, be like, this is what I'll do. Let's, let's he see has what they want. Rupert. Maybe we can figure out their connection to the Lord's Alliance. 